Election coverage, we're taking a look at poll prep and primary procedures to ensure a safe and secure voting process. KIMT News 3's Maureen Dudley is joining us now with how Olmsted County Elections Office is making sure ballots are private and protected and the vote count is accurate. Maureen. Jess, I spoke with Olmsted County Elections officials about how they prepare for days like this. First is preliminary testing, where we test each tabulator for each precinct uh, using uniquely marked test decks for all the candidates. Uh, that's a multi-week process, takes hundreds of staff hours. That must be 100% accurate before we can move on. After that first round of testing, the county then does a public test. That allows anyone in the community to see the process in person. The county also keeps the tabulators offline to prevent the risk of an outsider trying to tamper with results. We're working closely with the state and federal agencies to ensure that we're protected um, physically and through cybersecurity as well. In addition to taking many steps to keep the equipment safe and accurate, the county works on both the equipment and processes all year long. So these processes are always ongoing. Um, it's always our goal to increase transparency and we, we feel like we can always do better. But as far as the accuracy and integrity of our process, we take that very seriously and that's something that's been a part of our process forever. The elections office plans to upload results from each precinct tonight as quickly as possible once the polls close. And we'll have those results here for you on KIMT both on air and online. Jess? All right. Thanks, Maureen. Make sure to join us for KIMT News 3 at 6 and 10 to make sure you get all of your live election coverage as well as those results as soon as possible. Just a reminder, polls close across Minnesota tonight at 8.